will uh, begin this evening. Uh, welcome to the 2018 WCTV Clapper Awards, where we recognize the producers of the best WCTV programs over the past year. On behalf of myself, uh, Joanna Perino, John Bernard, Drew Bixler, and our newest uh, sports techs, Jared Evangelist and Rachel Williams, I'd like to thank all of you for coming to tonight's uh, e evening services. Uh, 2018 is WCTV's 35th year in operation, and this is our 28th uh, annual Clapper Awards. Uh, <clears throat> what I'd like to do is have you do something for me in a little bit, but first I'm going to show you a few slides. So we'll take a look at our first slide. This slide shows you the WCTV programs that were produced per month over the last two years. Uh, 2017 is in the gray and 2018 this year is in the red. And as you see there, last month in October, uh, all of you produced 201 programs for the month of October. And that's actually a record high. So we, uh, last year you can see that back in uh, May, we came pretty close uh, to the record, but uh, the record was set last October. So on our next slide, <clears throat> You'll see the WCTV program hours, the hours of programming each year from WCTV's inception in 83 through uh, this year. Now I have this year as an estimate because we're not quite finished yet. So as you can see in 2003, that was a, a record year for WCTV in the amount of programs. Will 2018 exceed that and be another record year? It's going to be very, very close. On our next slide, uh, we'll show that uh, uh, on w watchwctv.com, the views per year. Back in 2014, we had 10,000 and some views. Uh, this year, we had over 106,000 views. And uh, will we reach that and exceed that uh, next year? Maybe 200,000 views? That would be a, a, a huge record as well. Uh, so we'll get along and get started with our first awards and uh, our first awards are the milestone awards so people that have achieved hundred programs or more are going to receive these awards and our first one is for their 100th show and their 100th, 100th show was the history of Wadsworth Airport produced by Bob Parmalee And for their 400th show, the Wadsworth, Wadsworth History on Film, Jack Ollum, produced by Cesar Carino. Wow. Now we have one person that, believe it or not, last year produced over 300 programs. This year, they've already produced over 200 programs. So they're actually going to receive quite a few uh, milestone awards. So David Kenny produces several shows uh, at the studio. One for his 500th show was Bible Readings in Him, the New Testament, 1 Corinthians chapter 13. His 600th show was Bible Readings in Hymns, New Testament, 2 Peter chapter 2. His 700th show was Light from Above, number 358. His 800th show was Bible Readings in Him, the Old Testament, Psalm, uh, Psalm 52 and they were all produced by David Kenny. I spoke with David earlier today, and because of the weather, and uh, he's also himself feeling under the weather, so he couldn't be with us, but uh, we appreciate uh, all the hard work and effort that he's done as well. For their 1100th show, produced Ticket Trivia Number 2, produced by Roger Polk. So congratulations to everyone that received a Milestone Award. Uh, now on to the Clappers. In your program is a list of the nominees so you can follow along. The Clapper Award winners were selected based on two criteria, popularity from online voting and quality. The nominees were judged by a panel of media professionals on production quality, content, and the overall reaction to the show. The runner-up and honorable mention in each category will receive a certificate and the winner will receive the beautiful WCTV Clapper Award designed by Miracle Custom Awards and Gifts in Akron. Okay, so our first award. The best school event category. Honorable mention goes to Veterans Day 2017 Sacred Heart School.
runner-up in the best school category goes to Isham Veterans Day, produced by Matt Jurowitz. And now we'll watch the screen here for the Clapper winner in the best school event category. CIS School Cultural Fair produced by Steve Brady and Nance Watts. We're on the continent of Africa. We're in Mozambique. This has been a fabulous cultural display. Tell us what you've learned about Mozambique. Well, I've learned that their flag, each color and each symbol represents something different. And even though it's 12 times smaller than USA, it still has over 30 million people. I would never have guessed that. All right. And what has been the excitement about this? What have you learned and what's been interesting? They have a lot of beaches there because they're right on the coast. Oh, I love this. Look at this. We have a little diorama or beaches. And who designed that? We all did. All right. And how did you come up with this idea? Um, we saw some pictures online of slime and sand, so we thought that we could make a small beach with the blue slime and the sand. I like it. And what are these little things? Oh, flags. You have little flags of the country. You can take one if you want. I think those are outstanding. Very nice. Uh, Roger Havens is accepted. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I can switch my name off on these before I give them to the two that deserve them. But Nance Watts and Steve Brady, congratulations. They couldn't make it this evening. And I know they've been popping around all the buildings, doing all these special events, and they do a great job. So from them to you, thank you. Our next category is Best Look Into Our Schools, and the honorable mention goes to Ohio's Mr. Football, produced by Roger Wright. The runner-up in Best Look Into Our Schools goes to The Last Supper, the Sacred Heart School's second grade play. And now we'll watch the screen for the Clapper winner and the best look into our schools. <clears throat> the State of the Schools Address, produced by Dr. Andrew Hill, Sandy Hall, and Tom Stugmeyer. Our schools are one of our largest community investments. They prepare our most valuable asset, our children, to become the leaders of tomorrow who will move our community and others forward. As with any investment, Understanding what type of return our community is getting is important and leads to the question, what is the current state of our schools? This year, we thought it would be fitting if you heard about the state of our schools from those who are on the front line every day, dreaming about what tomorrow holds for them and the people who are helping make our students' dreams become reality. While the work that we do is guided by our strategic plan, there's no mistake that the education business is designed for and based around the needs of our students. To that end, the Wadsworth City School District does its best to continue to offer top-notch opportunities in academics, arts, and athletics. Success starts with leadership, and to that end, the Wadsworth City School District is fortunate to have a visionary Board of Education that represents our community by advocating for student-centered, fiscally responsible decision-making. Well, thank, thank you for the award. I, I just want to thank Sandy and Tom. Uh, they're really the ones that put all of this together and made it happen. I thought it was a fantastic way to display all the great things in our school district. So thank you to the two of you for making this happen. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. <laughs> when, 
when, when Dr. Hill came up with the idea, he kind of pitched it to both of us, and, and uh, we thought, well, yeah, we, we, we can make that happen. And, and again, it was just, it just a lot different look than, uh, you know, pie charts and statistics and everything else, letting the kids and the teachers and all the administrators tell the story. So it was a lot of fun. I really appreciate it. And of course, uh, Sandy did so many of the arrangements and everything with all the teachers and the times and everything else. So couldn't have done that at all without her. So thank you. And I have to thank WCTV and our Wadsworth Community Radio. It takes a lot to get good news out about a school district. So I appreciate all the work that they do. Thank you. Our next category is Best School Performance. And the honorable mention goes to Village Christian Co-op Family Night produced by Jennifer Collins. Runner-up goes to the Winter Classical Concert produced by Andrea Atzinger from Wadsworth Middle School. And now we'll watch the screen for the Clapper winner and best school performance. I love the 80s, WHS Choir, the Communications Class, Jasmine Jackson, Remington Johnson, like to thank Wadsworth for putting on these kind of programs for us as high schoolers to be able to participate in things like this and have experience in directing and audio performing so that we can show how awesome the creativity Wadsworth puts into their programs. So thank you so much for this. I just want to thank uh, Mr. Barnett, who couldn't be here today, for running the amazing media program and for guiding us and showing us exactly how to film. So, <laughs> thank you. Our next category is Best, best Youth Production, and their honorable mention goes to Wadsworth City Schools Striving to Be the Best, Literacy on the Lawn, produced by Roger Wright and Michelle Evans. The runner-up goes to Cloak and Dagger, produced by Colin Moore and Brianne Pernod. And now we'll watch the screen for the best clapper in the best youth production category. The Medina County Memorial Day Essay Contest Awards produced by Mike Kovac. Dear soldier, I am writing you today because I want to tell you how thankful I am for your sacrifice, bravery, and courage. I am very thankful for your service to my country and because of you, me and my family don't have to worry about our safety. I feel safe knowing that you are somewhere fighting for your family and for mine too. Because of you, we can be free. We can have freedom. We can wake up without worries, without fear, and without tears. We can wake up with a smile on our faces. Today we honor the ones who fought and served the Army. Today, Memorial Day, we thank the ones who sacrificed their lives for their country. And today we honor the ones who are not with us anymore. And Beth Kilchman is uh, accepted. 
Well, at the Auditor's Office, we like to reach out to the community, and this is one way that we can honor our veterans and make a special occasion of Memorial Day, and the kids get a chance to think about how important that is. And we also want to thank Tom Stugmeyer for doing the filming of this for us. Thank you. Our next category is Best Documentary, and the honorable mention goes to Let's Go Adventure Series number 77, The Solar Eclipse, produced by Roger Polk. The runner-up goes to Main Street Wadsworth, July 1st, Friday, produced by Jenny Young. Now we'll watch the screen for the Clapper winner in the Best Documentary category. <clears throat> the Cleveland Torso Murders, produced by Kevin Kelly. By the 1930s, Cleveland was considered the third largest automobile industry in America. At 60 feet below street level, the Cleveland Industrial Valley was considered the heart of the city, with its productive steel and iron factories producing day and night. Once the darkness settled over the flats, most of the factories became deserted, while others continued operating throughout the night with their tall chimney stacks gushing out black smoke and flames into the night sky, giving the landscape a hellish appearance. Ragged vagabonds would begin staggering out of the darkness, scavenging aimlessly among the railroad tracks and river banks. A lot of the vagrants that lived in the flats basically was an aftermath of the Great Depression. You know, they didn't have jobs, they were out of jobs, they were used to scavenging for food on the streets, um, and, and that's where many of them came from. Yeah, I don't think Kevin could be here tonight uh, because of the weather, but uh, we'll accept on his behalf, so. Our next category is Best Religious Message, and the honorable mention goes to What Catholics Really Believe, The Happy Prayer, produced by Tim Perry. The runner-up goes to Living Stations, produced by Sacred Heart School. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Religious Mat Message category. Mosaic Church Wadsworth, Astray and Thyatira, produced by Adam Barton and Larry States. Today we're going to look at the, the church in Thyatira. I'm just going to jump right in because i got a, a bunch to get through here. Um, here's what he says. Write this letter to the angel in the church of Thyatira. This is the message from the Son of God whose eyes are like flames of fire and whose feet are like polished bronze. I know the things you do. I have seen your love, your faith, your service, and your patient endurance. And I can see your constant improvement in all these things. So uh, if you've noticed, there's kind of been a pattern in these letters. Like usually Jesus leads with a compliment and then he gives them the criticism. So here's his compliment. It's a pretty good one, right? Like, hey, they got love, they got faith, they got service, they got patient endurance. And on top of all that, he's even saying, hey... You, like, are constantly improving. Like, there's a steady improvement in your Christian walk. Like, that's really cool. That's good stuff. 
I would even say, man, one of the ways you know your faith is real is if you're a different person as you look back like a year or two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if anybody's ever said this to you, like, oh, you've changed. For me, that's a compliment, right? Like, if I'm the same person I was five years ago, that's not a good thing. So what Jesus is saying here is this church, they're improving. Incremental, it's not crazy, but it's constant improvement in these things. So that's good. They got some stuff going for them. Yeah, Adam Barton makes it easy for me. All I do is produce, and uh, he's, the, he's the talent. I, one of these years, I'm going to try to get him here. He's so busy right now. Our church is continuing to grow, and uh, we, uh, you know, we, we keep busy a lot in the community. We're getting more involved in the Wadsworth community now, but Adam is the driving force behind this. He's a very dynamic pastor, and uh, it's, uh, it's a thrill for me to put his messages together. Uh, a lot of times he'll go over 40, 45 minutes, and I have to pare them down to 30 minutes for uh, WCTV, but um, it's a challenge, but I enjoy it. And uh, as I said, I appreciate what WCTV does. Uh, they give us a voice in this community, and uh, really do appreciate that. Thank you. Our next category is Best Worship Service, and the honorable mention goes to First Christian Church. Larry, don't get, sit down there real quick, because the runner-up goes to Mosaic Church Wadsworth. <laughs> I should have caught you a little earlier. And now we'll watch the screen for the Clapper winner and the best worship service. Sacred Heart of Jesus Church, produced by Father Joe, Mary, and Annette. So Jesus uses this occasion. He takes these five loaves and two fish. He blesses them, breaks them, gives them to the disciples, and they in turn give it to the people. He was teaching them at great length beforehand, explaining to them the mysteries of God, all about God's love and mercy. And when we think about that, that's exactly what we do here, week after week, day after day. We come and listen to the Lord, his word. We listen to that word. Hopefully that word instructs us, shows us the way, teaches us about God, about our faith, and how we are to live that out in our daily lives. On behalf of our parish community, I want to thank everyone. Uh, it's a great community, very involved in the wider community. We have a lot of great people who do a lot of work for, for God and for the, his, his people. So thank you very much. Our next category is Best Performing Arts, and the honorable mention goes to An Afternoon of Holiday Music, produced by the Wadsworth Community Band and Choir. The runner-up goes to Holiday Hymns and Songs with harpist Joanne Imhoff. Joanne Imhoff was producer. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Performing Arts, and that goes to... The Northside Christian Academy Christmas Program, produced by Wendy Teresi and Benny Hayes.
You are watching the Northside Christian Academy Christmas program. That was grades five through eight. Next up is K through four. We hope that you enjoy this Christmas program right here in Wadsworth, Ohio at the Northside Christian Academy. I'd like to thank WCTV and uh, specifically uh, Mr. Madding here. I think we should all give him an, a round of applause for 30 years of service to this community. We're very blessed to have him in our community. We're also blessed to have Northside Christian Academy in our community. And uh, Mrs. Tarosi and Mrs. Horger, uh, they helped us produce this. And uh, my son goes to Northside, and he's my biggest blessing. But I want to leave with, with you today Proverbs 22.6. It says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's older, he will not depart from it. My dad was in television, and he taught me how to produce videos as, just as a kid. Now my son goes to NCA, and I'm teaching him the same thing as well. So we want to say thank you to WCTV, and uh, thank you to Northside Christian Academy. Yeah, I've actually known uh, Denny since he was probably in grade school, and I know he looks like he's only in high school now, but uh, don't let that fool you. But we used to work on uh, productions together. We used to do uh, football games and uh, college uh, football games and basketball games and things like that uh, back in the 80s, I want to say, or whatever. But he would always mostly run uh, slow motion for us. So he got the nickname Slow. So when he was running around, he was probably, what, fifth grade or, or even earlier. We, so we'd always, we nicknamed him Slow. So he was a slow motion guy. So appreciate you coming and congratulations on your award. Our next uh, category is Best Public Awareness. And the honorable mention goes to RSVP, Disaster Preparedness, produced by Irma Baker, Phil and Natalie Dell, and Sharon Moritz. I want to mention too, as they come up, uh, you know, we can't thank Phil and Natalie enough. They've done a lot of volunteering, not only for us, but all other access centers as well, as along with Irma. Phil has also probably helped out on thousands of sporting events, whether it's girls soccer, boys, girls basketball, football. So we appreciate everything that all three of them have done. The runner up in the best public awareness program goes to The Vision and Future of Main Street Wadsworth, produced by Adrian Krause. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Public Awareness, and that goes to Residential Speed Awareness, produced by Matt Hiscock. The Residential Speed Awareness Program has showed significant um, decreases in, in terms of residential speeding. It's also showed that it's had a demonstrated level of change for driver behavior. Um, it hasn't shown that in every application in the city, mm. but it's been very promising. So that's why we thought uh, talking about that on a program like this, spreading the word about residential speeding and the concerns about it, and really educating folks on, on how they can take part is something that we want to do. Yeah, absolutely. Matt? Thank you very much. You know, uh, for 10 years of work at the city, one of the things that I had on my uh, bucket list to accomplish, I've done it, folks. <laughs> I've done it. There was a lot of training by Jim Kovacs, so I have to admit it's about eight years of training to get here tonight. So I really just have a, a couple people I'd like to thank at this point. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. Our next category is Best Promotional, and the honorable mention goes to Get Ready for the Wadsworthopoly Scavenger Hunt promo produced by Roger Polk. Okay. 
Oh, I will. The runner-up goes to the 2017 Fall Foliage Tour, produced by Elizabeth Schnabel. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Promotional category. Doing the Most Good, the Kettle Drive, produced by the Wadsworth Salvation Army. This is uh, just an incredible time of the year because on one hand, we have the celebrations are starting for the holiday season and um, parties to go to, gifts to buy, all kinds of fun things. But on the other hand, we have people in need in our community. And that's one of the doing the most good is what you do best. Yes, we, we like to reach out to families, especially at this time of year, because we know families uh, typically and, and traditionally want to be able to give to their children. They want to be able to share and enjoy and everything that goes on with this kind time of season, especially as we celebrate the birth of Christ and all the festivities that go along with the season. Okay. And how about you, Lindsay? What's different for you this time of year? Well, Sometimes I feel like this is when our real work starts at the Army. Nice. Um, this is probably the time of year that we're most known for. Doing the most good is this mm -hmm. time of year. Um, and we've got so many different programs and things going on um, that things start to get a little bit crazy. Oh, good, because yeah. that means that you're needed. Exactly. Yes, yes. you're absolutely exactly. needed when you get crazy like that. Yeah. I want to say that the, doing the most good is a result of being in a community that does the most good. And uh, it's not about us, it's about our community, about those who love Jesus Christ. It's about reaching out and just meeting needs. And this community uh, does that so well, I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you. Our next category is Best Special Event, and the honorable mention goes to Walking the Blue Tip Parade, produced by Roger Polk. I like this part. Yeah, I know. The runner-up goes to Trunk or Treat, produced by Key Church. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Special Event category. Wine with Wanda, Great Possibilities, produced by Wanda Haynes. Wine with Wanda is on location. We're at the Canton Civic Center, downtown Canton, Ohio, for Great Possibilities. It's put on annually by the Arc of Ohio to benefit adults and children with disabilities. It's a wonderful event. There's lots of wine, there's lots of food, wonderful music, and I am going to have one heck of a time trying all these wonderful wines from all over the world, including Ohio. Take a look. much. I love being a part of WCTV. Thank you, Johanna, John, and John. I appreciate it. Um, here's the thing. Wine is an art form, just like writing or making a movie or creating any other type of art form. I'm just trying to share that with everybody and have a good time in the process. So thank you all so much. Uh, I had the pleasure uh, last month of being with uh, Wanda at the uh, uh, Regional Alliance for Community Media Conference where she won a Philo T. Farnsworth Award and it was uh, a, a competition that encompasses a four state region Ohio, Michigan, Kentucky, and Indiana and Wanda was awarded first place in the best instructional category for Wine with Wanda, the Halloween show. So congratulations for that as well. <laughs> best Sports and Recreation category, the honorable mention goes to Dirt Track Weekly produced by Wally Ball. The runner-up goes to Mission Possible, the 2018 Wadsworth Grizzlies basketball game highlights, produced by Andrew Booth. <laughs> and
And now the clapper for the best sports and recreation category. The 2018 WHS Volleyball produced by Jody Evans. Tonight's another record night that Casey could do tonight. Ah, oh, nice swing, Evelyn. Kill by Evelyn Haydu. Uh, Casey has the chance to break a, another career total record tonight for serving aces. She needs two to tie and three to win, uh, three to break it. So she came close there a couple times, but they were able to get that second touch on it, so it didn't count. Nice swing by Sylvia. Nice quick set. Back row attack by the libero. Casey Diggs. Evelyn up for, got blocked. Evelyn, or Lauren Conley jumped and swung and got the kill over Lizzie Stefanol. The ball, Lizzie blocked it, but it rolled right down in front of her. Okay, we're back up on top, 11 to nine. Obviously, my voice is a little different than what you just heard. Um, I'm Jody's husband, Adam. She couldn't be here tonight. Uh, but I just want to thank the uh, thank Joanne and John for this. Um, this is great. And we did do it for the same reason that everybody in here pretty much does it. We just want to share you know, some things that we like with, with the community. And you know, we, we aren't doing it for the money. So, uh, but uh, I want to thank, thank those folks and thank all of you um, for the work that you guys put in in all of the events that you feel special and want to share with uh, with the community. So thank all of you and thank you guys. Thank you. Uh, well, definitely Wadsworth loves their Grizzly sports. Uh, the football team is still in the running for the state title and will play tomorrow against the Maslin Tigers. WCTV continues to bring you the exciting games each week and those are some of the most viewed programming on WatchWCTV.com. In fact, last week's playoff game, just in a few days, received over 3,500 views and it's still growing. Uh, the boys and girls basketball games were viewed over 13,000 times last year. Wrestling, volleyball, soccer, and lacrosse added another 6,000 views. As you can see, our sports crew and parents who volunteer to tape these events have been very, very busy this year and last year. Let's introduce them and give them a round of applause for all their hard work. First, our sports crew for football and basketball, and if you would stand, please, John Bernard, Drew Bixler, Rachel Williams, Jared Evangelist, those two are running camera. Roger Wright, Justin Bernard, Gary Bernard, Robert Rickenbacker, Dave Major, Jody Evans, Adam Evans, uh, Greg Townsend, Chris Lambert, Steve Brady, Dale Fortner, and Michael Movizian. So thank you very much. Our next category is Best Instructional, and the honorable mention goes to Bible Readings and Hymns, produced by David Kenny. David couldn't be here, so we'll accept that award for him. Sure. Runner-up goes to Awakening with Soul Spirational, the Chakra Tune-Up, produced by Tish Nowitzki. And the Clapper winner and the best instructional goes to <clears throat> Health and Happiness Show, the Tomato Canning and Sweeteners Program, produced by Janet Hawkins. So, so what you do is you bring those in and you wash your tomatoes. And then what you're going to do in our big pot here, we're going to get this pot half full of water and it's going to be boiling hot. And then what I do is I put the tomatoes back in the peck basket or a large container, and I put those tomatoes in this pot. I let them boil or be in really the scalding hot water for maybe five minutes. And you will notice on the top of the tomato, there's will be a little split. When there's that little split, that means that tomato, the skin is ready to come off. So then, hopefully my husband's home. If not, then I have to drain the water off and let these tomatoes cool. And then as they cool off, I skin the tomato, the skin off of the tomato plant, core it, and cut it in fours and put it in the jar. Then I fill it up to about right, not clear to the top, 
right below the lip here. And then I add one teaspoon of Himalaya salt. Jenna? Thank you so much, WCTV, for giving me the opportunity. The three J's, John, Joanna, and John. You're always there when I need some support or suggestions. But one thing I would like to share with you, just remember, food is our medicine. May it be dandelion, may it be burdock, may it be yucca. A lot of us have internal inflammation, so the yucca can go in and help with that as well. And just enjoy the holidays. Make sure we drink plenty of water. Add a lemon to your water, because that helps with your acidic condition. Have a good holiday. Thank you. <laughs> Now, Janet uh, also uh, won a Philo T. Farnsworth Award. She won first place in the best health category for health and happiness show, The Structural Integration. So congratulations to Janet, too. <laughs> Next category is best informational, and the honorable mention goes to Wadsworth Farmers Market, produced by Roger Polk. <laughs> The runner-up goes to the WHS Athletics OHSAA Parents Meeting, produced by Brad Musgrave and Steve Moore. And now for the Clapper winner in the Best Informational category, and that goes to... Inpatient Drug Facility with Robert Newman, produced by the Wadsworth Drug-Free Community Coalition. So now we have 211 beds total, um, 151 male and 60 female. Uh, we also have a large outpatient program. Most of the clients that come to us um, go through residential and then they'll step down into intensive outpatient, then regular outpatient, um, and then um, eventually they're either hooked up with like a recovery coach, somebody that just helps them in the community um, while they're not actually attending treatment. They've, they've completed the treatment piece. This is just to kind of make sure they, um, you know, stay, stay on track. Uh, and they, uh, you know, they're finished with our program, but we have like a, a pretty strong alumni base. So they'll come, a lot of them will come back and talk to new clients and tell them about their experiences at CATS, uh, what they went through, the things that kind of, the things that, uh, led them into um, substance abuse and, and the things that helped get them out. Uh, and Marla Bianco is accepting. I need to thank everybody that's part of the coalition for this. Um, and um, Joanna and her crew for seeing that we always have somebody to video. We meet, um, we have speakers at the library the fourth Monday of every month. The topic is always something to do with drug awareness. So again, thank you to all the people who've helped to make that possible. Our next category is best talk show and the honorable mention goes to the ultimate game paintball number 942 produced by Roger Polk. <laughs> Runner-up for Best Talk Show goes to Real News, produced by Mark Belchick. And now for the Clapper winner for Best Talk Show, and that goes to Right and Left Show, Hatred in Politics, produced by John Grom. Thinking into the future, now we've got another two years of this term and possibly four more after that. Right. Uh, what in the world is going to become of us in that period of time? I mean, things are getting worse by the day, aren't they? Yeah. I, very honestly, I think the only way to prevent this is to um, is at the ballot box and to elect people. To, to get rid of them. But that's not going to change the behavior of the people. The, what we're talking about right now is the behavior of the people. But I think that the leadership are the ones that are spawning that, if that's what they demand. I mean, I saw John McCain in that uh, town hall. And a lady approached her and said, I don't like Obama, he's a Muslim, he's this yeah. and that. And he stopped it right there yes. and said, listen, I, he is not a Muslim, 
Uh, He's uh, a good man. Uh, we have differences of opinion. And that was the end of it for the evening. And that's what it takes yes. is people on both sides to come out and speak against yeah. or all of the spin that's taking place. Yeah. John Grant. Well, thank you very much. Uh, right and left is all about political civility. You may think that political civility has taken a real beating in the last few years. But I want you to think about this. You're hearing more about civility than ever before, mainly because of the, our lack of it. But I think that out of the ashes of this incivility or uncivil wreck that we're going through right now, we're going to see a, a, a growth. I, I hope so anyway. At least that's what right and left hopes so. Our next category is Best Entertainment, and an honorable mention goes to Ticket Trivia, produced by Roger Polk and Tom Stugmeyer. Where we get to take his picture. <laughs> <laughs> I have no one to hand out the next award, so I'll wait for a second. And now the runner-up in the best entertainment, and that goes to the Cuyahoga County Fair, produced by Kevin Kelly. We've got some new winners this year for the Clapper. Let's take a look who that is. Polka time again, Memories of a Sunday Afternoon, <laughs> produced by Gene Kovac and Joe Gabrosa. Little music from Buffalo, New York, and I bet Joni Dunning would appreciate that one. Oh, right. <laughs> She's yeah. a big Buffalo fan, loves the Buffalo Bills and so forth. And Joe, that just reminded me, football season is about to start, and they're picking on the Cleveland Browns way before the season started. I, I was over at one of the local bars the other day, and some guy said, how are the Cleveland Browns and a possum similar? And the guy next to him didn't know, of course, and he said, well, they both go to sleep all day when they're at home and get killed when they're on the road. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's going to be different this year, Gene. Why, we hope so. <laughs> Hopefully. We hope so, yeah. yes. <laughs> all right, well, let's move along here. We're going to go back up to Cleveland now. Mylon Rakanovic, great, great musician, and this was at the... Uh, campgrounds up there, Joe, where they have quite a few events. Oh, yes. Yes, and PJ Farm. Yes, mm -hmm. indeed. And Mylon is going to join some of his buddies and play the Glass Slipper Polka. <laughs> Gene Kova. This is quite an honor, and I really get psyched up when I hear that polka music. <laughs> I want to thank John and Joanna, especially Joanna, for, for being our boss for a great number of years, and we get a 6% raise every year. <laughs> we started out at nothing. I, I'm not good at math, so <laughs> thanks again. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's probably another first. I talked about records uh, prior to the, to the awards. I think they've won an award in their 70s, 80s, Joe in his 90s, maybe even the 60s, their 60s. So that's a, an incredible feat. Our next award is the host with the most, and it's one of the most highly coveted awards. Uh, the staff of WCTV selects this recipient based on the three Ps of being a host. Preparedness, presentation, professionalism, uh, and prof professionalism of their productions and the interviews they conduct. We would like to invite the 2017 host with the most award winner and host of the RSVP, RSVP series, Irma Baker, to come up and present this year's award. I am always so impressed by all the hosts. 
I just sit there at the table or when I'm watching the programs and think, what wonderful talent we have here hosting programs on uh, WCTV. So it is a very great honor for me to be last year's winner and a special honor to present the award to this year's host with the most. So, let's see if you figure out from this description. Calm, cool, and collected. That describes this host to a T. A soothing voice, a beautiful soul, and an inspirational wealth of knowledge that I'm sure has led viewers to their own inner awakening. This host produces, edits, and hosts her own show on location and the result of 28 minutes of empowerment, joy, hope, love, happiness, excitement, and peace. Let's all put our hands together like this and say namaste to the 2018 WCTV host with the most Tish Yitzwicki. Hello, welcome to another episode of Awakening with Soul Inspirational. I'm Tish, and today I want to talk about affirmation placement. This is something that I do quite often with my clients. Um, I have classes on it because I think it's a great way to really bring the affirmation into our being. Because when, you know, you may right now have affirmations on your refrigerator or on the bathroom mirror. Oftentimes, I know I would place different affirmations on the mirror so my kids could see it too. Um, as a daily reminder of a way that we want to live our lives or um, something that we are aspiring to be or to do. Just next week. I may do a TV show, but I'm really nervous. <laughs> and I wasn't expecting this, so she can hear it, my voice. I didn't prepare anything because this is crazy. Love people. Love people. Let's all just love people. And with that, yes. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> love people. <laughs> And now we'll present our Diamond, Platinum, and Golden Disc Awards that are awarded for programs with the most views on WatchWCTV.com, formerly Vibit and My.PegCentral.com, which we bought the rights to, so no matter which site you go to, you'll, you'll go to the right one. Which is be quickly becoming the most popular way that people are viewing our programming from all over the world. In 2017, we had 68,519 views on WatchWCTV.com. In 2018, we had over 106,000 Views. We will now recognize the producers of the program series and single program series and single shows that received the most views this year with a diamond, platinum, and gold disc award. So let's start with the single program disc awards. The golden disc award for the single program with the third most views on WatchWCTV.com goes to Ohio Mr. Football, produced by Roger Wright, with 1,234 views. <laughs> Platinum Disc Award for the single program with the second most hits on WatchWCTV.com goes to Dr. Nicole Labor, The Addicts Doc and the Science of Addiction, produced by the Wadsworth Drug Free Community Coalition with 2,530 views. And Marla Bianco will accept. Sure. 
want to say thank you. Dr. Labor's program was probably the best attended and the most informative program that we have hosted in our library series. We partner with the library, I said, for fourth Monday of each month. And um, we had a capacity, kind of like Roger's uh, coal uh, program last night, we had a capacity crowd, um, the 100 chairs were filled, and we had people lined up along the walls all the way around the room. Um, she's phenomenal. If you want to understand what addiction is, um, try to get to hear Dr. Labor at some point. And if I can backtrack for just a minute, um, our speaker this month, the Monday after Thanksgiving, is Whitney Grimes Peak, who runs the inpatient drug treatment facility that um, is in is at the Wadsworth, formerly Wadsworth Ritman Hospital. So, if you want to know what's going on as far as drug treatment right here in your community, please join us on the Monday following Thanksgiving, seven o'clock at the Wadsworth Library. And now the Diamond Disc Award for the single program with the most views on WatchWCTV.com goes to the Northside Christian Academy Christmas Program produced by Wendy Teresi and Denny Hazen with 4,686 views. And now the Disc Awards for the series programs. The Golden Disc Award for the series program with the third most views on WatchWCTV.com goes to the First Christian Church with 3,007 views. Oh, and in case you didn't know, that's Bob Parmalee that's been accepting for the First Christian Church. He's also one of our Cable Commission members, so. And uh, the recipient of uh, his 100th show, so that's great. Thanks, Bob. The Platinum Disc Award. The Platinum Disc Award for the series, for the series program with the second most views on WatchWCTV.com goes to Dirt Track Weekly, produced by Wally Ball, with 3,323 views. I don't think Wally's here tonight. But. The Diamond Disc Award for the series program with the most views on WatchWCTV.com goes to our favorite polka guys, Gene Kovac and Joe Gabrosik. <laughs> And they received 4,411 views. And a lot of those views were actually from out of the country. Okay, now for our Outstand Outstanding Achievement Award Director's Chairs. These director chairs are presented to producers and volunteers in appreciation for their longtime commitment to WCTV. To date, we have had, we've presented 44 chairs, and tonight we'll pre present two more. Our first recipient has been a WCTV volunteer producer for the past 20 years, and has done nearly 300 shows. She, has crowned the 200, she was crowned the 26, 2016 host with the most, and continues to attract new viewers with her expertise in, expertise in the field of natural health. She has won several regional video awards for her long-running series, and even though this herb lady comes from the Canton area, she has always been a huge supporter of WCTV and the Wadsworth community. It is my pleasure to present this Outstanding Achievement Director's Chair to Janet Hawkins. Yes, please be seated in your, your chair. Yeah, here you go.
Now Janet, on her shows, she, sometimes she makes a lot of great things and recipes and things like that. And just because she leaves some behind and lets us eat it, doesn't mean she got that chair for that reason. <laughs> trying to instill some new habits. That's right, there you go. Okay, now for the next recipient. We think it's a prime time to recognize this recipient who has not only been a volunteer and producer and host of WCTV shows for many years, but is also currently a dedicated member of the Wadsworth Cable Commission. He was the 2009 Host with the Most Award winner and continues to be the epitome of professionalism and positivity. It is my pleasure to present this Outstanding Achievement Director's Chair to Don Warner. I think he had to leave. Oh, he had to leave, okay. Yeah, I did speak to him earlier. Unfortunately. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, you may. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to try his out. No, that's all right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Real quickly, before we all forget, I want to show you a, a, a few more slides. Don't forget that we have, WCTV has their own Roku channel. So if, whether you go to your Roku device or put the Roku app on your phone, you can uh, simply go to the... Uh, uh, if you, if you go to the next slide, you can simply go onto your app, choose the channel store or on your device. Once you choose the channel store, if you start typing in Wadsworth Community TV, you can see there if you start typing in Wadsworth, there's actually a lot of things about Wadsworth and people named Wadsworth on there, so sometimes you gotta get to Community TV before it pops up. But once you do that, then you'll see our logo pop up, and then um, uh, once you do that, you can install that channel, and then uh, I'll show you a quick video here where you can see it in action. So when you go to Roku, you see WCTV, you can click on that. Once you click on that, it'll go through, you'll be able to go through all of the folders of all the programs just like you see on watchwctv.com. Once you click on a folder, then all the programs in that fol folder will appear, and then you can simply click on the program you want and start viewing it on your TV. Now I have a, I have only a 52 inch at home and it's an old uh, plasma, so it's like 15 years old or something but I can't tell you how great the football games and sporting events look in HD uh, through the Roku, uh, through my Roku device. So I encourage you all to go out and spread the word that we have our own Roku channel, have them download and add the channel to the Roku device. Uh, so we're really excited about that and hope people continue to use it. Uh, so that's the end uh, of the Clapper Awards this year. Before we go, I'd like to give a big round of applause for the staff from the Suprema Cafe and Windfall Industries for the delicious dinner. The cafe at the Suprema Senior Center, food and staff are fantastic, and they offer all kinds of great ideas for your holiday parties, and Kimberly makes the best and most beautiful sugar cookies. They are works of art. I've seen them, they truly are. <laughs> Thanks to Tom Stugmeyer for taking pictures tonight, and to the American Classic Popcorn Company in Wadsworth for making the delicious caramel apple popcorn that are your favorite bags tonight. Now we ask that the uh, Clapper Award winners, Host with the Most, Milestone Award winners, Outstanding Achievement Director's Chair Awards, DISC Award winners, come toward the stage so we can get group photos. Thank you very much, and thanks for all your hard work and dedication that you do. Thank you.